This is Ethiopia, a country with a rich history and culture. Ethiopia is not only rich in culture, but it is also home to some of the most ambitious megaprojects in the world. And in this video, we will take a look at some of the most impressive completed and almost completed megaprojects in Ethiopia. So if you're interested in learning more about these amazing feats of engineering, then be sure to subscribe to my channel before we get started. Number 13. The Ethiopian Shipping Lines. The National Shipping Company of Ethiopia is called Ethiopian Shipping Lines. Since its founding in 1965, it has run a fleet of more than 20 ships. Transporting people and cargo between Ethiopia and other nations is the responsibility of Ethiopian Shipping Lines. The company's services are crucial for the growth of the Ethiopian economy since they promote commerce. Ethiopian Shipping Lines has increased both its fleet and its services in recent years. The firm presently serves more than 30 countries and has a fleet of over 20 ships. Ethiopian Shipping Lines is also aiming to create new shipping routes, which will aid in fostering Ethiopia's commerce and economic growth. Number 12. Bull International Airport Expansion At Bull International Airport in Addis Abeba, a project to expand the airport is now under process. The development will boost the airport's annual passenger capacity from 12 million to 22 million. The development of a new terminal, a new runway, and a new cargo terminal are all included in the expansion. In 2024, the project is anticipated to be finished. Number 11. The Ethiopian Roads Authority. The Ethiopian Roads Authority is a government agency responsible for the construction and maintenance of roads in Ethiopia. It was established in 1935 and has since built over 50,000 kilometers of roads. The Addis Ababa Jagoti Railway is one of the most significant projects that ARA has undertaken recently. The Addis Ababa Jagoti Railway runs a standard gauge route for 756.7 kilometers from Addis Abeba, the capital of Ethiopia, to Djibouti, a port city. Ethiopia's commerce and economic growth are anticipated to increase as a result of the railway. The reconstruction of Ethiopia's road system is another significant ERA project. Ethiopia's road system is now in disrepair, which is a significant barrier to the country's economic growth. To increase the efficiency and safety of driving, Ethiopian Roads Authority is striving to renovate the road system. Number 10. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam An Ethiopian hydroelectric dam on the Blue Nile River is called the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. It is the seventh biggest hydroelectric dam in the world and the largest in Africa. Over 6,000 megawatts of electricity should be produced by the GERD, helping to meet Ethiopia's expanding energy needs. Additionally, the dam will increase flood control and supply water for agricultural irrigation. Number 9. Addis Ababa Light Rail Transit The first in Ethiopia and third in Africa, the Addis Ababa Light Rail Transportation is a light rail transportation system. It comprises two lines with a combined length of 34.4 kilometers and started operations in 2015. The Addis Ababa light rail transportation has made traveling more effective and ecologically beneficial while also assisting in easing Addis Ababa's traffic congestion. Number 8. Ethiopian Electric Power Ethiopia's power is produced, transmitted, and distributed by Ethiopian Electric Power, a state-owned enterprise. Since its founding in 1962, it has increased to have a generating capacity of more than 5,000 megawatts. Ethiopian electric power is an important factor in the Ethiopian economy, and the effects of its operations on Ethiopians' daily lives are profound. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is one of the most significant projects that Ethiopian electric power has undertaken recently. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is the biggest hydroelectric dam in Africa, and it is located on the Blue Nile River. The dam is anticipated to produce 6,450 megawatts of power, which will aid in supplying Ethiopia with the additional energy it needs. Another important project undertaken by Ethiopian Electric Power is the expansion of the Ethiopian Electrical Grid. The Ethiopian Electrical Grid is currently underdeveloped, and it is unable to meet the needs of the country's growing economy. Ethiopian Electric Power is working to expand the grid to reach more remote areas of the country and to improve the reliability of the grid. Number 7. Hawassa Industrial Park the Ethiopian city of Hawassa is home to the Hawassa Industrial Park. It was finished in 2016 and is Ethiopia's first industrial park. 
The park has drawn more than 50 businesses, including textile, leather, and food processing businesses, both from Ethiopia and outside. Over 10,000 employment have already been created by the park, and another 50,000 are anticipated to be added over the following few years. Number 6. The Ethiopian Airlines Ethiopian Airlines is the flag carrier of Ethiopia and one of the largest airlines in Africa. It was established in 1946 and has since expanded its fleet to over 100 aircraft. The airline flies to over 100 destinations in Africa, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Ethiopian Airlines is a member of the Star Alliance Airline Alliance. Number 5. The Ethio Telecom. The biggest telco in Ethiopia is called Ethio Telco. Since its establishment in 1996, it has grown its network to include the whole country of Ethiopia. With more than 16 million customers, the corporation offers a variety of services, such as internet, fixed line, and mobile phone. The state-owned enterprise Ethio Telecom is now being privatized. Number 4. Ethiopian Railway Corporation. The Ethiopian Railway Corporation is in charge of running and maintaining the country's rail system. Since its establishment in 2006, it has been in charge of managing the network's restoration and growth. To increase the effectiveness of the railway system, the Ethiopian Railway Corporation has also implemented innovative technology, such as the usage of electronic ticketing. Number 3. Tekes Dam. Ethiopia's Tekes River is dammed by the Tekes Dam, a hydroelectric structure. After the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, it is Ethiopia's second-largest hydroelectric dam. Over 2 million houses will be able to be powered by the 3,000 megawatts of energy produced by the dam. Additionally, the dam will aid in irrigating more than 100,000 hectares of land. Number 2. Deborah Burhan Water Supply Project The Deborah Burhan Water Supply Project is a water supply project for the city of Deborah Burhan in Ethiopia. It was completed in 2017 and provides water to over 200,000 people. The project has helped to improve the lives of people in Deborah Burhan by providing them with access to clean and safe drinking water. Number 1. Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway runs 756.7 kilometers along a standard gauge between Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, and Djibouti, a port city. It was finished in 2016 and is Africa's first electrified railroad. The railway has significantly improved trade and accelerated economic growth in Ethiopia. Additionally, it has improved Ethiopians' quality of life by making travel and shipping more convenient and affordable. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the most impressive completed and almost completed mega projects in Ethiopia. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.